Hey folks, in this video I'm going to introduce the ACB calculator that I developed. Uh, the idea of this calculator is to help you save time. I just went through the painful exercise of calculating my capital gains and losses for 2020. Uh, 2020 was a was a crazy year. There were a lot of uh, there's a lot of volatility in the market. I did a lot of transactions, and obviously to calculate the capital gains and losses, I need to be able to calculate ACB. And ACB could be tricky, especially if you're dealing with foreign uh, foreign stocks, so stocks that you buy in a different currency, because you have to convert to Canadian dollars at the date of trade. And there are two critical dates when you're, you're trading uh, stocks. There's the purchase date and there's the date of sale. And the government requires you to use the foreign exchange rate as of the trade date. So as of the purchase date and as of the sale date. So there are two different foreign exchange rates, two different dates, and it could become tedious when you had uh, when you did a lot of transactions in a given year so i hope this calculator makes you save time hi i'm julian rigoli cpa cma finance coach my purpose is to help people learn how to save money how to invest money and how to think about money my channel money matters is all about that. And if this is the kind of topic that interests you, sign up to my channel, hit the bell button. You'll be notified whenever I upload new videos. Okay, so let's dive into it. This is the ACB calculator. You'll see that there are two tabs here. There's the US stock tab and the Canadian stock tab. The only difference between the two is that one takes into account for an exchange and the other doesn't. This is available. There's a link provided in the description of the video. When you get the link, it's a view only. To be able to populate this, you need to download it. And all you have to do is go into file, uh, make a copy and stick it in your computer so that you're able to edit it. Very simple. You have to input the information in chronological order. So say you invested in Tesla. I'll give you an example here. You bought Tesla. You bought, let's say, 10 shares at a price of uh, $250. Commission was, let's say, five bucks. And the trade date was uh, July uh, 10th, 2017. All right. So the calculator here uh, will populate, and this is the beauty of this, this is where you save a lot of time, is you don't have to look up this information. It, the sheet will go and grab the FX on that date automatically for you and calculate your ACB based on the, the shares that you buy and the shares that you sell. So it's, uh, it calculates all that for you and then will spit out a gain, a total gain that you have to report into your income tax return. So if we continue here with this, so we're continuing with Tesla, things are going well and you decide to buy some more. So you buy five more shares, this time a little more because uh, it's, it's run up, but you're pretty confident. You enter your commission and this happened, uh, let's say in uh, October 20, 2018. You see the FX is populated and uh, say things have run up quite significantly and you want to realize some profit. And so you sell, uh, you sell 10 shares of your Tesla at $800 at a $5 commission. And this is on uh, October 15. 20 and again the FX is populated and here you'll see that it creates on the far on the far right whenever there's a sale the calculator will calculate the total ACB on the sale and it will calculate the total proceeds from the sale okay so that minus that so the total sale value minus the total purchase value is equal to your gain 
or loss. In this case, it's a gain. And that gain is reported up here. So hopefully the calculator was is useful for you. If uh, you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment area below the video. And if you like the calculator, if you like this video, hit the like button. Much appreciated. If you want to book a one-on-one -on -one with me, feel free to do so. You'll find a link in the description of the video. Sign up to my channel because I've got more upcoming videos. Thanks for watching today, folks, and we'll see you real soon. Thank you.